Five episodes in and I'm just like, yeah, this show is a no for me. And welcome to my safe game and everybody. Thank you guys for joining me for another video here on the Black Gay Comic Geek channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, checking out one of my videos, let me introduce myself. My name is Michael. I call myself the Black Gay Comic Geek. And I always say the things that I love to talk about on my channel has blood, sex, gore, and magic, or any variation of the force. I like to talk superheroes, video games, comic books, horror movies, sci-fi, fantasy. And of course, I like to talk about black representation and queer representation. So if that's something that you're interested in, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so I continue to grow on the channel. But also you can help me grow by hitting the like button and it'll really help with the YouTube algorithm, getting this video out there, getting my channel out there so I can continue to grow. So yeah, let's talk about the Acolyte episode five. I was told since episode one, even before episode one, that episode five is the episode that you need to get to. It's gonna be the episode that changes everything. It's gonna be the episode that everybody talks about. And so we're finally here. We're finally at episode five. So let's talk about it. And this is also going to be a spoiler review. So yeah, let's talk about episode five of The Acolyte. This episode was called Night. And yeah, I, I did not like this episode. I didn't hate it. I just did not like it. And the thing that, I, and, that's, and that's sad and that hurts me and that annoys me is because of the backlash that this show has been getting with Amanda Stenberg, people criticizing because they got a lesbian coven of witches, that there are a lot of black characters, Asian characters, people were complaining. They were like, why is it that the only white male characters that are talking are prisoners and calling it woke and all this other stuff? It made me want to defend the show even harder. It made me want to like the show even harder. And so it's sad and it hurts, at least for me, because I know there are people that are liking this show, but at least for me, five episodes in and I'm just like, eh, I don't really care that much. Like, and it's interesting because I liked the first two episodes. I enjoyed the first two episodes. I was excited about this show because the first two episodes and then how different it was. Cause like, this is one of the first times we're really getting to see Jedi fight without using their lightsabers. We're getting to see full martial arts, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and that's stuff that I liked. And so to get into things that I liked about this episode, I did enjoy the lightsaber fights and the battles and the fight between Soul and the Sith Lord, Kamir, or whatever. Like, I enjoyed seeing those fights, the fight between Jackie and Kamir. Like, Jackie was putting in work. Like, I'm not gonna lie, out of all the characters that died, Jackie was the one that hurt the most. So shout out to Daphne, Daphne Keen who played the role of Jackie, but overall, like this show is just not hitting for me. And then, especially when you talk about how like this episode was supposed to be the episode that changes everything, that makes you, you know, draw, that the one you're gonna talk about, I'm just like, what changed in this episode? Like the fact that we learned that Kamir was the Sith Lord, I'm like, I could have told you that in episode two. Like that was like, very predictable. So when they did the big reveal that he was the Sith, I was just like, okay, what else you got for me? Like, duh, we already knew that was gonna happen, especially after episode four, where he shows up out of nowhere, but we don't see Kamir anywhere. Like they, they mentioned, oh, when May all of a sudden out the blue decided, oh, my sister's alive. So that doesn't mean I don't have to follow this guy anymore. I shouldn't be on my revenge, my revenge mission. And then he shows up right after that. I'm like, it's clearly him. Like, who else could it be? And so, like, not even just is the dialogue kind of terrible, like, and then the way the scripting is, like, that, that moment where May said, like, oh, my sister's still alive, so I'm going to turn myself into the Jedi. It was just like, that was stupid. But then, like, when you get to this episode and Kamir killing all the Jedi, I didn't care because... I don't know any of these Jedi. I didn't get any attachment to these Jedi. I didn't learn anything about these Jedi that made me go, oh man, they're dead. Oh, I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. Even Jackie and Yord, like those were the two that I was just like, oh man, like you killed Jackie and Yord. But even them, I wasn't that attached to. The thing that made me more attached to Jackie is this episode where she was putting in that work, man. Like she was, she was fighting that Sith 
harder than some of those than a lot of those other Padawan. Like she was giving him some trouble. So when she got when she got taken out, I was just like, oh man. Like she was put she was honestly giving him more work than even Soul, who's a Jedi master. And I was just like, come on, Jackie, let's let's go, Jackie. Uh so but other than that, I was just like, I don't care, like. All right. And then the whole relationship and dynamic between Osha and May, like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm interested to find out what happened that night at The Witcher. And we still have a, like, I thought each episode, like, I thought episode three was going to be May's perspective. Episode four, or episode three was going to be Osha's perspective. Episode four was going to be May's perspective. Then episode five was going to be the Jedi's perspective. And that's why, you know, my prediction of what people were like, oh, that's when everything is going to change because I thought that's what they were going to go. That was the route we're going to go. But it's like, we still don't really know what happened. And granted, I know there's still eight episodes. There's still three more episodes left. But we're more than halfway through the season. And I'm still just like not really connected to any of these characters so far. And then I'm also a little bit confused about May and her motivation and her thought process because when she confronted her sister Osha in this episode, she started talking shit about the Jedi again. Like, oh, they brainwashed you. I can help you get away from this brainwashing. It can just be me and you again. Let's get away from the Jedi and all that. But I'm just like, but didn't you just say in the last episode that you wanted to give yourself up to the Jedi? Like, you wanted to put yourself in jail. You were regretting your decisions. So I'm confused. And then they also kind of make it seem like she took Osha's spot and, and, uh, and is pretending to be Osha to get close to Soul so she can take out Soul. But again, didn't you just say you quit this mission of revenge? So, like, I'm, I'm confused. What, what are you doing? Like, what is happening? And then also, they have this new thing where Kamir is wearing the helmet because... He says soul can read minds and this helmet is supposed to prevent him from reading minds. That's a new thing that we've never had before because Darth Vader had on a helmet. Luke was still able to read his mind. Obi-Wan was still able to read his mind. Kylo Ren had a helmet on. People were still able to read his mind. So that's not something that they've ever mentioned before. I was like, what is he, Magneto all of a sudden? But even with that, if soul has this ability to read minds, when May is pretending to be Osha, wouldn't Soul know immediately that that's not her? And not only just that, but if Kamir, he was trying to kill Osha because he threw the lightsaber and if Jackie didn't block it, she would have died. So he was trying to kill Osha and then he was trying to kill Mei for betraying him. But then we get to the end of the episode and it looked like he like healed Osha or whatever and he's gonna take her, take her in. He wrapped her up in a blanket and I'm just like, are you trying to kill her or no? And obviously we know we can't kill her because then the show's over, but like, you could have just killed her right there. Like, I'm, I'm, confu I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't know. I just didn't like this episode. I just didn't like this episode. And granted, I know there are people that really like this episode. Friends of mine that was just like, oh, this episode was great. This episode was gas, as the kids would say. But for me, I was just like, so what? Who cares? Like... Uh, and I want to love it. I want to love it, especially considering the backlash that this show is getting because people are, people are complaining that it's not good because it's woke or it's not good because there are black characters or it's not good because there are female leads or it's not good because there are gay characters, even though there aren't any gay characters. They're just assuming because it's a matriarchal society that they're all lesbians, but it's like, it's not necessarily the case. Yeah, there are probably some queer characters and I think Osha's, because she has two mothers. So they're queer, that doesn't mean everybody else is queer. And then of course, Leslie Headland being an openly gay woman as a showrunner of Star Wars, like I want it to be good, like, but that's not why, but let me make it clear. Her being openly gay, her being a woman, the fact that there are black characters, lesbian, et cetera, et cetera, that's not why this show, at least for me, isn't good. It's just the writing in general, like, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, and that's really all I can say about it. I'm still gonna watch, because I am curious of like, what is the story like? What is the why of this show? What is the why, like, why does this show exist? Like, what is it, and what is the plot, and what's the story, and what is it so important about the Jedi in this moment in the Jedi's history that's telling me that you needed to create this story at this time? And as of right now, I'm not really getting that so far. Like, I don't know why this show exists. And obviously there's still three more episodes left, 
But five episodes in, I'm just like, because we're already at that, we're already past the halfway point. And so I should have some answers by this point. And right now I don't really have anything. So yeah, for me, this episode, to bring back my old rating system, this episode was a miss for me, which is basically the equivalent of a D. Like I said, the lightsaber fights were fun. Jackie putting in that work with the, with the Sith, like that was cool to watch. But overall, I'm just like, but like I said, there are people that are really enjoying this show. So maybe you're one of them. So what did you think about this episode? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, whether you agreed or disagreed, but either way, let's be respectful in the chat. And well, not the chat because we're not live, but be respectful in the comment section. Also, if this is one of your first time checking out one of my videos, <laughs> hopefully you check out another video, a more positive video, a more happy video. And if you like what you see, check out the other videos on my channel. Hit this, Once again, hit that like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button to follow me for other videos. If you haven't checked out my lives for Interview with the Vampire, I definitely go live every single week to talk about Interview with the Vampire. And hit that bell notification button so you're learning every single time I post a new video and tell your friends, families, and neighbors about my channel to help me continue to grow. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. And may the force be with you.